Welcome to Draftit. Draftit is an easy to use, full featured 2D CAD system, which unlike other free CAD packages, allows you to create, print and save your drawings. There are no restrictions and no time limits, so you can use the free version indefinitely. All you have to do is download and run the installation, then during or at the end of your 15 day trial period, just complete the simple registration process, which only requires a valid email address. Then that's it, you're a Draftit user. During the 15 day trial period, you have the option to run any of the three low cost upgrades to the free product. These are Draftit Plus, Draftit Pro and Draftit Architectural, which offer varying levels of drafting capabilities. Let's take a look inside Draftit Free. OK, so what's included? Well, most things you'd expect from a 2D CAD system. We can draw and modify using all of the commands that can be seen here on the home ribbon. For instance, line, arc, array as well as copy, move, rotate and various dimension tools. So what can you draw with a free version? Well pretty much any 2D technical drawing. As you can see here, a full set of CAD tools will allow you to create things such as architectural plans, schematic diagrams, engineering drawings and pretty much anything else in between. Let's select the line tool to demonstrate the system snaps. When drawing or modifying, we can snap to existing points. You can see here that Draftit describes the type of point as you browse over it with your cursor. These include endpoints, midpoints, intersection points, perpendicular points, quadrant points, everything you need. You can actually zoom in and out with the mouse wheel and pan with a middle click, so getting around your drawing is nice and easy. As well as snapping to these existing points, it's easy to enter values manually. There are numerous ways to do this. For example, we can use the dynamic dimensions. You see here how they update as we move the cursor, and you can specify the increment to suit your requirements. This can be done using either the X, Y or the polar method. For even greater accuracy, we can enter exact sizes into the boxes here. So as we define the length, you can see that our proposed line length is locked to the value entered. We can do the same with the angle and then click to accept the values. In addition to this we can hold down the shift key to lock to 45 degree angle increments. You can see that now as I move the mouse around the dynamic line jumps in 45 degree steps. Let's just draw a few orthogonal lines like this. OK let's undo those. We can also add dimensions and text. Let's quickly add a linear dimension. You can see here we can control all of the dimension settings, text height, arrowhead type and size and plenty more. To add our dimension we need to give two points to dimension between, here and here. Oh and we'll make the text yellow to match the other dimensions. You'll notice the dimension orientation is decided by where we click for the third time. Let's put it here. You can see it has slightly different formatting to the other dimension. That's easy to change though. Just select it and make the changes in the ribbon. Voila! Adding text is just as easy. Hit the button then enter your text into the window. You can see here we can set the font and lots of other format controls. Once these are set, we just click to place the text. We can even paste existing text from other applications into the text window. So we'll double click this text to edit it and then paste in our new text. This is handy as you can save standard notes in a file to use when required. Draftit supports both metric and imperial units for coordinate input and dimensioning. You can see here the numerous settings available, such as millimetres, metres, fractional inches, decimal inches, the list goes on. Let's change to fractional feet and inches. If you observe the dimensions, you can see they've automatically updated to the new units. Let's do that again, 
but set decimal inches this time. This is a powerful feature, but it's intrinsic to the way draft it works. You can also set any sheet size you want. Here we can see a range of standard metric and imperial sizes, as well as a custom option allowing you to set your own sizes. Similarly, any standard scale can be set, or you can define your own. So with a combination of the tools in the ribbon and the snap and input options, you can swiftly and effectively complete your designs. You can save them with no restriction, then you can print them. Be sure to download and use Drafted version 4 all for completely free and make use of the 15 day trial to test out the low cost upgrades which are packed with even more powerful functionality. Thanks for watching.